Hey guys, my name is Anup and in this video, I am going to tell you how to enable gzip compression and increase Google page speed score. Because in any way uh, you are going to make a website uh, by code or using WordPress, you need good quality score or good page speed score to show your clients and to be ranked on the web page. So in this video, I am going to follow four major steps. First of all, we will identify which type of server we are using because if we are using Apache, so Nginx has different configuration. And if we are using Nginx, Nginx, and we are trying to put through its S3 access, it will be irrelevant. So first of all, you must have knowledge about what type of server we are using. Second, we'll confirm either ZZP is enabled or not. Might be ZZP is already enabled and you are trying again to enable that. Third point, we will set up the ZZP and fourth last step is we will test it again so let's get started so this is the website that i have done on the local host it's not live the first step that we are going to cover as per the initial instructions we are going to find out which kind of server we are using so for this you have to right click uh, let me do show you again you have to right click you have to do inspect element then in the inspect element you have to go in the network let me remove the mobile filter so there's lots of way to do this one is the right click inspect element second is go in this three dots more tools and in more tools you will get development tool and last one is in windows is f12 also work and in mac there is a shortcut for this so let's not talk about that and uh, let's move on the current topic so you have to open the network tab in the network tab you have to clear everything and then you have to hit the refresh so i just done that whatever this page needs like in terms of css in terms of images all will all request will come on this particular tab i have done the filter i only want to see the images but i have to click on the all by default it is already be all so you have to click on this part because you can see the types css and this kind of things images so you have to click on the html one you will click on this you have to go in the headers and once you'll go in the header in the you have to close this you have to just read the response headers in the response headers you will get server so we are using apache it means we have to do the settings in ht access okay so let me show you another example i'm not going to explain it but just for the server like find out who, what kind of server we are using so there is another website that i have it on like this dot life.com in this we are going to do again i'm just right click and then inspect element I'll go in the network, I'll click on the all, then I'll reload the page. Once I'll reload, I'll go scroll up and I'll select this one, talk life. And once I select this, I'll go in the response header and in the server, I'm getting Nginx. So in this, we are using Nginx. There is two major servers in the current market, uh, which contains more than 60% of the market share. So. If you'll see here the graph, uh, it is a survey basically and if you'll see the last month survey of March 2020, Apache has 24 and the Nginx has 37% of shares. I have created a complete comparison video on the Apache and Nginx. If you are interested to know about this, you can get the video from the description or from the top. Just you will get the icon. So we have done our first step. Let's move on the second step. Confirm ZZip is enabled or not so let's move on our website which is this and we'll close then again this one then you have to come on the size section this size section in this size section i am able to read 64.9 kb transfer over the network and the resource size is approximately same means there is no compression over here in the last video we have discussed the transfer over the network always small as per the resource size if ZZP is enabled means there is no ZZP is enabled on this this is the first method with like the technical method the most effective method is come on the audit this tool you only get in the chrome 
you come on the audit and it is a offline copy means if I go on the Google page speed I get an online copy of this here I can check all websites those are live but if you are doing on the local host or on a local system you need to do the same if you're doing on the local system you can't use this tool because it will not get that particular IP so they have made this tool of in the audit system and this is exact same copy of the Google pages page so you have to just click on the generate mode I have un checked all the things because I am just working on the performance gzip comes under the performance I, I, I am not concerned right now to check the SEO we will cover that particular part in the later um, upcoming videos so I am just clicking on the generate report it takes around 30-40 seconds and then give, you, give us a report and in that report I will let you know what to read to check gzip is enabled or not so let's wait so our report has been rendered and in this uh, we'll just scroll down and we will get error yeah this error so if you're getting this error enable text compression means gzip is not enabled and it will show you in the description also text based resource should be served with compressed gzip or deflate or broadly i have explained gzip and broadly in the last video if you have missed that you can watch from the description so make sure we just remember this the speed score is 26 now just i'll enable the gzip compression and this page speed score will increase now to enable the gzip compression you have to go on this url i have given in the description or you can google it from anywhere you will get this kind of stuff it is a basic configuration to enable the zzip and you have to open your editor so I am just using sublime and the sublime you have to open your project in the project root folder you will get stxs so once you will paste this stxs you will save this file and once you will save this file you have to go back on your particular website in the same audit section I'll click on plus one and I'll generate new one I just click on the plus because I can get the old report I can just plus I can generate again the same report so right now I'm getting the performance 57 which is which is like very very good if I just enabled the GZ compression and I'm getting this, this much of good speed so and if I go down and there's two one is the error sections uh, second is the past audits in the past audits I'm getting enabled text compression is green means I have I am I have enabled the ZZ compression and it's working fine as per this audit uh, software and make sure uh, your this extension also uh, like helps to reduce the page speed score because it is also part of your web page so whenever you are testing you just test in after removing or in some other browsers uh, sorry so in some this private screen so anyways uh, it doesn't matter right now uh, because they are this is my custom extension it doesn't work create doesn't work and grammarly is not effect that much so we have increased if I'll we compare from this last audit which is 26 and right now it's 57 so using this you can uh, audit and you can increase your page speed score from your website and the this speed score depends on website to website like what kind of resources you guys are using and what's the page structure so I hope you got better understanding of the ZZIP compression how to enable it in the next video I'll I'm going to explain the plugin ways to enable the ZZ compression in WordPress files this in this example I have enabled the native way so if either you are using WordPress or you are not using WordPress you are able to enable that and but make sure your server type should be Apache because STX only works in Apache type of servers it doesn't work in the engine nginx in nginx you have to enable in the main configuration 
one thing that I forget to explain you is once you go in the network and up in the network you can see this particular part if we go in the size and which was coming 68 by 65 now it's coming 11 kb transfer over the network and 68 kb uh, the actual resource size means right now it's coming compressed so that was the audit one and from the network section you also get what's the effect and uh, here you can also get all the files like css also has been compressed and if you go in the css this one is, is 1 kb and this is the another one actually is in 33 kb so everything has been compressed and so you can easily get what the effect on the website and so let uh, let's go in the audit section in the audit section right now the first meaningful content is for 2.6 second and if i go on the old one so i am getting in the this one so as i explained in the first video the example with the uh, compressed and non compressed version so it's working perfectly on the same manner so this i missed <laughs> Uh, which I just when I was reviewing the video I got oh I missed the main part so I am adding this one so if something left or you confused about please leave in comment section we are next gen innovators a website designing and development company based in Delhi we just focus on three things user interface user experience and the speed of the website so if you have any requirement where we can help you please feel free to contact us See you in the next video.